This time on Road and Race, we changed the engine oil. The engine oil lubricates the moving parts in the engine. Over time, the oil loses its ability to do this, so needs replacing. Your handbook will tell you how often to change the engine oil. For my Boxster, Porsche recommend changing the oil every 12,000 miles or every two years, whichever comes first. Here's a summary of what we'll be doing. Heat the engine, drain the oil, replace the filter, fill with new oil. Here are the tools and parts you'll need. Breaker bar, socket set, drain pan, rubber gloves, oil filter housing removal tool, a funnel, eye protection, engine oil, oil filter and new o-ring, and a new drain plug washer. Oil will drain more efficiently if it's hot, so run the engine for 10 minutes to get it up to temperature. Using ramps or a jack and stands, lift the front or rear of the car depending on where the engine is. Please click my other video if you'd like to know how to do this. Remove the oil filler cap to allow the oil to drain more freely. As my Boxster is mid-engined, I've raised the rear of the car. The location of the oil drain bolt is here, and the oil filter is here. Place a drain pan down to collect the used oil. Put on eye protection, then, using a ratchet or breaker bar, loosen the drain bolt. Put on rubber gloves and remove the drain bolt. Now remove the oil filter housing. You may be able to remove it by hand. If not, use the correct size removal tool for your car. Your manual will tell you which one to get. Remove the old filter and fit the new one. Remove the old O-ring, then put some fresh oil on the new one and fit it to the housing. Half fill it with new oil, then fit it back onto the car. Torque it to the correct spec. In this case, it's 25 newton meters. Your manual will tell you the correct setting for your car. Once all the oil has drained out, fit a new washer on the drain plug and screw it back in. Torque to the correct spec. In this case, it's 50 newton meters. Now we're going to put new oil in the car. Your handbook or manual will tell you how much and what type you need. Some manufacturers like Ford list just one choice, which makes things easy. Here you can see they recommend a 5W30 oil. For my Boxster, Porsche lists a number of types of oil, which leaves the problem of choosing the correct one. To help with this, most oil manufacturers and online retailers have an oil selection tool that will list the correct oil for your car. Links to these can be found in the description box. A detailed show about engine oil will be in a later series. Here I've chosen a 5W40 fully synthetic oil. For my Boxster, the oil capacity including the oil filter is 8.75 litres, so to start I pour 8 litres into the oil filler. You should only check the oil level on a horizontal surface, so lower your car and wait 10 minutes for the oil to drain through the engine. Using the dipstick, check the oil level. It should be just before the max line. If not, slowly pour more oil in and check again in 10 minutes. Repeat until it's correctly filled. Remember, it's just as damaging to have too much oil on the engine as too little. Go for a 20 minute drive, then check the drain plug and filter for any leaks. Write down your current mileage or reset the trip meter on the car so you'll know when the next oil change is due. As always, please dispose of the used fluid responsibly by taking it to your local council recycling center. That's all for this time. If you found the show useful, please hit the like button and also subscribe as this helps us make more shows. If you have any questions or requests for things you'd like to see, please leave a comment. We read and reply to all of them. If you'd like to buy anything used in this show, then a link is in the description box. For more shows, check out roadandrace.co.uk or our Facebook page. You can also follow us on Twitter.